Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. The new deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It simulated human emotion, fear in particular, in a very convincing way. It seemed completely overwhelmed by them and behaved irrationally. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? He's obviously not what I was expecting, but I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. You might be in shock. Just, just take it easy. Oh, yeah. Fucking machine can kill everyone. Would you yeah. mind getting me some water, please? Tensions in the Arctic have reached a new level. Sure. With a Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. You and you, come with me.
Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. I'll leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! 
Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you! Fucking android.
CyberLife, the company that manufactured me, is conducting a user survey. Would you like to participate? No problem. Maybe another time. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by CyberLife. Good. I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But CyberLife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Look at that. A fucking ghost. <laughs> His clone ends up in a dumpster, but this morning, what do you know? Now the son of a bitch takes his place. Hello, Detective Reed. Never seen an android like you before. Model are you? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! I'm sorry but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> when a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit... It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one.
You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. Hundred and forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant? Uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. You really need the forensics.